In this video, we are going to be looking at the Kerberosting attack. Uh, this is an attack against service accounts in Active Directory. The way the attack works is you are able to identify without any privileges service accounts that leverage the service principal name attribute to connect it to a service for Kerberos authentication in Active Directory. And because of the way Active Directory works for this particular type of account, when you request a service ticket for a service principal name, you get back a ticket that is encrypted with the NTLM hash of the account with that SPN registered. That may sound a little confusing. Let's take a look at how this works in practice. So today we're gonna to be using the Kerberos toolkit that you can find on GitHub. I've downloaded this and I'm gonna be using parts of it during the demo today. The first step is it comes with this great script, get user SPNs, and we're gonna use that to identify all accounts in Active Directory that have service principal names registered. So these are our candidates for Kerberosting. So you can see I've got a handful of them. I'm gonna pick one particular account, my SQL database service account. That would be an interesting one to compromise and you can see it's got a service principal name tying it to a particular database server here for this SQL service on a particular port. So now that I have that, what we're going to do is use some PowerShell to request a ticket and you can see we're going to pass in in that ticket request not an account name but the actual service principal name that's registered with the account. So we're going to pass this in and you can see we get our service ticket. So now we're going to use Mimikatz to dump that ticket out to disk. So I'm going to launch Mimikatz and I'm going to use the Kerberos list command, export that. And you can see all the different tickets that get output, but the one that we care about is this one right here, which is the service ticket for that particular SQL server service account. And if I go to my local computer, here they are. So this is the one I care about right here. This ticket is encrypted with the NTLM hash of my SQL service account. So what you can do is take this ticket offline now, completely separate from the network, and use another toolkit that we're gonna look at next, uh, a Python script that's going to take in a dictionary of words and attempt to crack into this ticket. And once it's cracked into it, um, you know that it's successfully found the clear text password that generates the NTLM password hash for this account. So by the time you're done, you've compromised this account and you know it's clear text password. And the scary slash interesting part of this is this can be done entirely offline. You don't have to worry about network activity, lockout policies, bad password attempts or anything like that. So now that we've got the ticket, all we're going to do is run this Python script, passing in a dictionary of potential passwords. There's plenty of those online and the ticket that we want to crack. And let me tell it to use Python. And there we go. Found the password for the ticket. The, ta the password is password, right? So now I know that service account associated with that SPN, which we have right here, is the svc.sql database account. Its password is password. I've compromised that account without triggering any alarms in the process. To find out more about attack strategies and how to defend against them, go to netrix.com slash attack.